We got new VR hardware to look at. Finally, it has arrived. This is the Vive XR Elite, Vive's latest standalone headset, and it's the smallest standalone headset that's out there right now. In this video, we're going to unbox it. I'm going to show you what you're going to get for $1,099, and I'm going to put it onto my face here for not the first time, but for the first time here at the MITV headquarter. So, Absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV, my name is Sebastian Ang and if you are excited about virtual reality, you should absolutely subscribe to this channel now. And don't forget to click on the bell button. All right, now let's check out the XR Elite here. Here are the controllers, here's the device, and this is the battery strap. So, yeah, so small. <laughs> let's check out number one. Okay, this is about how you would install it. And as always, everything is super nice in order, very nice unboxing experience, and new users will directly know what to do. And here it is. This is indeed the device in a nice little bag. I like that. And you just check out how small the device is. You can easily bring this around. I would put this into my backpack on a long flight to, I don't know, to the States perhaps? I'll be there soon. See you there. Yeah, so let's have a closer look here at the Vive XR Elite. It is a standalone headset, so you don't need base stations. It comes equipped with four cameras for the tracking, one RGB pass-through camera, and also one depth sensor. And here you can see they also have IPD adjustment, so you can set the lenses to match your IPD, interpupillary distance, the distance between your eyes. Let's have a look at the side here. So, well, this is the head strap, but you cannot actually call it head strap, probably more temples, right? This looks more like ordinary glasses, a bit bigger <laughs> than our normal glasses yet, but well, we're getting into the right direction in my opinion. So they have um, speakers built into those temples and well, if you have a big head, no problem as well, you can stretch those temples quite far away from each other. Okay, let's have a look at the lenses. We're looking at pancake lenses. And, very cool, we have diopter adjustment from 0 to 6. So this is for myopia, for short-sighted people. You can directly set it up and don't need to wear your glasses within the headset, which is pretty amazing. Yep, this is the IPD adjustment. And for me, I'm going to put them to around two for each eye and then I will be able to see everything very clearly within the headset. On the right there you can also see a USB-C port that's directly built into the headset. Okay, here you can see the speaker which is built into the temple. So we do have to find out if the resonance body is big enough to give us like loud sound. Okay, let's put this back here, the facial interface, and let's keep on exploring. On the top of the device, there is one button for turning off the device or for anything else. Here it is. And that's it already. Really very sleek device. Here, this is the battery, the battery that you can attach to the back of the headset, and we will do that in a moment. So here it is. The whole device, in terms of build quality, is simply top-notch. You see it, right? It's, it feels good. It's high quality. You can tell that you have something substantial here. And even though the device itself is sleek, it still feels like a very well-built device. Now, this back part, this uh, battery strap, this is actually the heaviest part of the whole device. And here's the USB-C port in order to charge this battery. Okay, yeah, let's simply put it now to the device itself. So this is how you would do it. Simply put it in here and the other side as well. And now simply connect the USB-C here and that's it. That is now the fully assembled HTC Vive XR Elite. And in my opinion, this does 
look like a very sleek XR headset. So the big question will be, how does this device compare against the competition, against the Quest Pro at $999? Is it still worth it here for the XR Elite? And well, it is going to be a tough competition, that's for sure. Now let's have a look and let's compare it with other devices, just in size, just to get an idea about the size. So here it is, the XR Elite on the left and the Meta Quest 2 on the right. Already a pretty interesting difference and especially if you take that facial gasket out. Now that is a completely different comparison here, the XR Elite against the Pimax Crystal. Brute force! <laughs> Very interesting. And now let's have a look at the controllers. And here you can see the controllers. Let's undress them here <laughs> for the unboxing. They are nice. These are the Focus 3 controllers actually. And they were already good with the Focus 3 and here as well. So same button layout like Quest 2. That is now the industry standard. And you see the handle is a bit longer as compared to the other devices. Feels good and there's also capacitive sensors in the trigger, the thumb rest and the handle. So that's quite important for people who like VR chat and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's it for the controllers. Here again the USB-C connection and you know what, now let's check out the device together. And here it is, the Vive XR Elite. And boy, this is a very well-built, sleek and sexy VR headset. There's no question about it compared to its competitors right now. This looks at least the best. So I like that it's so well-built. I like that you can detach that back part actually like for example if you are sitting in a plane and uh, yeah, you simply want to connect this to the see it in front of you right to the to the outlet you can do so yeah so let me put this on now well i had already put this on several times in taiwan but let's do this here now and i had actually set this up and i can tell you one thing they did a really good job here with the tutorial for beginners everything is super simple you download the app and well, they will walk you through everything. You have this pass through mode on directly and I like how they did it. Very well done. In terms of how this feels, obviously I'll need to wear this longer, right? So I like it. I like how this feels on my head. It is light and comfortable. Right, so anyways, this is this is now only putting it on here for the first time at the MITV headquarter. So I did go already through the setup process, which was really simple. Everything felt absolutely polished, which I like. So let me tell you about my feelings first about, let's say, um, what can we talk about? So we talked about the comfort, which is nice. Let's talk about the visuals that I see here. So I'm looking through these pancake lenses. And first of all, it's great that I can set up my diopter. So I don't need to wear my glasses within it, which is great. In terms of the visuals, well, this is something that I'm used to. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that this uh, brings VR to the next limit. This is something that I've seen from the Quest 2. This is something that I've seen from the, the Quest Pro. Some, somewhere in between those headsets, I would say. Right? So it is like a standard standalone experience. In terms of FOV, the field of view that you see in VR, well, this is nothing to write home about. This is something a bit smaller than the Quest 2, right? So if you come from a headset that has a bigger FOV, you will absolutely see that your field of view is kind of limited. Now, interestingly, if you would get rid of this here, the gasket, and then look through it, wow, actually, now the field of view is actually really nice. Something that I know from 
Yeah, from the Pico 4, for example. So it absolutely has to do with the distance that this original gasket, like, uh, yeah, puts you, puts your eyes to, to the lenses. So there is actually quite room for improvement. That is so interesting to see. Yep, so I'm pretty sure that I would love it if somehow I wouldn't need to use this here. Right, but right now, just like that, this is actually a nice FOV. Hmm, interesting. Actually, I heard that there is some kind of um, adapter where I don't need to wear this, right? So, dear HEC, I need that adapter. Like this, it's actually amazing. This is crazy. Okay, good. Good to know. What else can I tell you? Well, they have a pass-through mode, which is uh, a color pass-through mode. And to to activate it, I just need to click on the Vive button twice. And yeah, now I see you. And this pass-through mode, it looks good. It's colorful. It is not really death correct, I would say. No, not at all. It is very comparable, actually, to the pass-through mode of the Pico 4. Yeah, yeah, right. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So now let's check out the other mode where actually I would wear this like glasses. So probably this is something that I could do like in the plane or so when I connect the device simply to this to the seat in front of me to the to the USB USB outlet. So okay. Yeah, well, it does now feel less balanced and a bit front heavy, right? And hmm, I preferred it I totally preferred it actually with this here a lot. So this mode probably I'm not going to really use a lot, I believe. But th these are only my first impressions. But interesting that you can do it. Also, it comes with another strap. Where, where did I put it here? I have to learn how to attach this strap. And I can remember, I even liked the, the comfort more when I was using this strap because this would take some weight off, right? So yeah, you also have this middle strap. So lots of things for me to find out about the XR Elite. And I will do that. I will try out the streaming, obviously, right? The streaming that is built in here with the headset so you can stream your PC VR content. But I'm also going to try the um, virtual desktop from Giga Dawn, right? The software that we all love and see how good that is here on the XR Elite. I will also obviously try all the standalone games and simply see how that compares against the competition. And that is going to be coming up here on the channel. So if you want to know more about the XR Elite, absolutely stay tuned and sub subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. My first impression from this unboxing is a positive one, but obviously we'll need to see way more. Find out how many things are actually in the store, I believe. Well, it's going to be tough for Viveport, right, to compete against the Meta store and even the Pico store. So that is something that we have to find out and that I will find out for you. Yes. What kind of questions would you have on me for the final review of the XR Elite? Please do let me know down in the comment section so I know what interests you about this device. And yeah, if you want to chat with me and the MRTV community about the XR Elite, you can do that. Go to the MRTV Discord server, the link down in the description of this video. Yes. And that's everything that I have for now interesting happy to have this now and well i'm looking forward to see you in the next episode